Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here, and welcome to my channel. Going to be sharing with you the TTM autographs, which stand for Through the Mail, that I got in this week. Uh, just recapping everything I got. Um, maybe there might be some pickups here later, who knows. But uh, so far, um, this is going to be Monday's mail. There were a couple failures, and a fan pack from a friend, and several... Uh, autographs returned from celebrities and sports figures so let's go ahead and get into let's uh, get the failures out of the way real quick um, former twin John Castino came back returned to sender with a new address there Will that focus a little bit so he's still in New Smyrna Beach Florida but he's in an apartment now so Maybe I'll resend that. I'm not sure yet. Let's see. And also from actor, got a return center from Jim Cavazil, who, of course, in The Passion of the Christ and uh, Count of Monte Cristo. So there's a new address, also still in California, just in Agora Hills. So maybe I'll try that one. I don't know. If I didn't miss uh, the time to send that one. And I got a, I think this is a fan pack request from Kim Williams, so uh, if this is from you, Kim, thank you. Um, she requested something from Hunt Brothers Pizza in Nashville, Tennessee, so we got back a, uh, kind of like a hero card of Kevin Harvick, which I believe he does sign TTM, so I could possibly send this one to him. Here's the back. Might make you hungry. <laughs> It's making me hungry. Well, I kind of want pizza now. And then, there's a sticker. For his car there, so number four. Honestly, you could have him sign that too if you really wanted to. So, that might be a possibility to send that out to Mr. Harvick. Then, for the TTMs, this one has been out since about June of 2017. I completely forgot. Uh, I think I just sent him whatever cards I had of him, but Mr. Bobby M. Jones, the New York Mets, played with him about 94, 95 ish to I think like 2000, 2001. Starting pitcher. So, very cool here. Forgotten about that one, but then when I opened it, then I remembered that I was like, oh yeah, I forgot I had a request out to him. Got a couple quarterbacks in today. Got Mr. Lynn Dickey. Who's uh, Packers. Mostly. Uh, did start with the Oilers, I believe. And that one. And I believe that's my third time in my lifetime sending to him, so probably the last. And uh, Mr. Pat Hayden signed three for Garrett. Uh, I found out he is still deployed. Uh, he's just uploading some videos. When he got a chance, but he's still. So hopefully he doesn't see these. Um, should get some nice stuff in for him. I think he's gonna really have a real nice Christmas package between me and Kim sending him stuff out for him. So should get some pretty cool stuff. Um, continue with the sports theme. I th think I sent these off for Bruce. Um, well, pretty much, when you think of male speed skaters in the Olympics, there's pretty much two people that come to mind. There's Apollo Ono and this guy, Eric Hayden. So, he was a great U.S. Olympian, gold medalist. Here we got one of 5 by 7 So, pretty cool return there. He's always a great signer, Mr. Eric Hayden. It's spelled H E I D E N, but I believe it's pronounced Hayden. Then we got a uh, singer who signed both for Garrett here. This is Miss Gloria Estefan. Inscribed both of them for him. This one I printed out myself. Uh, I had actually ordered the photo and just forgot to look all the way in the pile, and so I double printed a photo. <laughs> And then I uh, always like it, you know, when you get a little note back from somebody, it just really kind of reaffirms to you that most likely it's real. That they take the time to read your letter and give you a little note. So, 
very cool. I don't think, you know, a secretarial or a secretary is going to really feel like writing a little note. So, I don't know. That's just how I feel. But it's very possible, but still very cool to get back from her for him. So, then, I'm not sure. I got this one back from Ann Helm. Uh, pretty actress, I believe. Um, she... I'm pretty sure I wrote her a long time ago and got a return back. She sent uh, this, like a postcard advertisement for I think a book and signed it. So, yeah, I'm not. Maybe she just had my address and so I guess uh, if you guys are interested. There you go, Amazon.com, Baby Star by Anne Hill. Anyhow, so I got that. I have to look to see when I sent her. What if I could look that up right now for you guys, real quick. You know, Star Tiger here. So it had to have been a while ago. At least a year, I'd imagine. Van Helm. It was a return to sender and warm. Okay. Yeah, I got her in 2017. So, hmm, maybe she just must have just had my address, I guess. Anyways, and final one, we got a World War II re return for Garrett. This is Mr. Gail Halverson. He's up there in his 90s. I think he's about 97. Well, it says 26th of July 2019. Well, that's when he signed it. Yeah. So very cool. US Air Force. You'll like that one. So I've been trying to revisit some a few World War II veterans for him. I figured that'd be kind of a cool uh talking piece. I got on some last time. He didn't show any of them. But uh I think he I think some of them, you know, they had some personal messages or something, that's why. But uh, yeah, he should enjoy getting some of those. So yeah, it's been a lot of fun being able to write for him and Bruce and Kim and just see all the returns that come back for the, for them and just want to show my appreciation um, to my friends. So that is everything for Monday. Hopefully there'll be some TTMs on Tuesday. It's been kind of dry lately, Tuesday and Wednesday. So uh, I'll update you when I get something here in just a second. So thanks for watching. Got. Tuesdays through Thursdays mail here. Um, I don't know if anything actually came in for Wednesday because it's kind of a weird day. Um, the mailman left the community, it's kind of like a community mailbox with a bunch of other people's stuff, kind of like little P.O. boxes and there's like, you know, 30 of them or whatever on each side. They left our side of the mail completely open so anybody could just come along and grab other people's mail and then there's mail sitting on top uh, in bundles of rubber bands, and I'm like, okay. First, I'm thinking about well, somebody vandalized this thing, but with all the rubber bands, are like the mailman just literally just left it. So we're sitting there trying to call the post office for 45 minutes, couldn't get a hold of anybody. So we called the local police, and they finally got a hold of somebody at the post office, and they sent an officer to tell us that you know somebody's coming. So we left. So we sat there for you know a good 45 minutes to an hour, just waiting for somebody to show up for like what the heck was going on so that was a weird day I was trying to be a good Samaritan you know and didn't want you know I don't think anybody in our neighborhood would you know be a bad person and take other people's mail like that but other people just wandering through the neighborhood that don't belong there that's another story so we just we stayed there and waited to make sure nobody was messing with it so uh, might be a job opening for a mail carrier. I have no idea, but that was a weird day. So I have no idea. There was a box of cards that came in, and that was it. There was no letters for that day. So who knows if I had anything? But I did have some on Tuesday. I just didn't get a chance to um, film on, so I just combined into this one. Um, Mr. Charles Deerkopf, he actually uh, sent this. Third, this is one of the third photos I sent him, and he actually sent it back, um, which totally unexpected. I mean, I told him uh, anybody 
write to it tell me if, the, if I send extras or whatever if they want to keep it or if they like the card or photo or whatever I send them they can it's perfectly fine with me but uh, he I think maybe he just wanted to keep it for a little bit because he was said this right here this guy he said that's Gary Busey that's his first film according to the back side of here he's got a whole bunch of stuff and he wrote a little nice note that he wrote to me so that was pretty cool to get back from him and by the way Charles Deercop is this guy right here in case you didn't recognize him so that was really nice to get back I wasn't expecting that so thank you so much Mr. Deercop if you can see this uh, maybe I'll uh, uh, print him uh, this photo and send it to him so he can keep it or something I don't know see about that I'll, I'll definitely have to send him a thank you note I think so next up we got Mr. Joel Polis and he dual signed it Caleb or Kim so didn't know which one to and then here's one uh, Henry S here you go for cheers here's a guy Joel Polis I'll make sure the if you need that address I guess just let me know or I'll make sure to have it posted on the TTM address sites for you but uh, it's an episode of cheers there then uh, from Die Hard um, I guess I didn't write her name on the back of this one. Oh, this is her own <laughs> it's kinda weird uh, Bonnie Bedelia Signed three photos from Die Hard. Here's the scene from Die Hard. And here's one. Oh, that was kind of a weird it's glitched out there. And then I uh, got a World War II return from. Um, he was one of the prosecutors or president for the Nuremberg trials after World War II. Had ended. Um, ben F Farinx. Um, he didn't return my photos, but he did send a couple signed business cards for Garrett. Um, don't want to put his entire phone number and email out to the world, so we'll cover that. But it's signed right there, and both of them were just like that. So I'll make sure Garrett gets those, and then he also signed. Just a little paper I glue there just to kind of help stabilize the envelope a little stabilize the photos just a little just a little bit of rubbing protection pretty much so I can also give it to him a little bonus autograph and then for yesterday I don't know about Friday yet it's still early Mark Kalkavecchia I hope I'm pronouncing that right um, golfer signed two and one's Golden Garrett. He had made mention um, in the last one that I included some golf in the last package I sent him that and his I think I believe he said it was his grandfather who loved golf and could always watch it and he thought it was so boring. So I just thought it'd be funny to get him a whole bunch of golfers. But he said it still brought good back back good memories of his grandpa, so that's kind of the goal there. I've got Mr. Matt Davidson. He's uh, in the Rangers farm system, I believe. Signs in red a lot, which looks kind of cool, honestly, with the black jersey. Power hitting third baseman. Um, doesn't quite hit for average, but you know, you never know. He could turn around, but uh, has a lot of power. Still fairly young. Still some potential there. This one was in the back, so it rubbed a little bit, but nice to rub on the back of the photos. That's alright. And finally we got Mr. Brig Owens. Pretty good defensive player for the Redskins and Jets back in the day. He says 66 to 78 and then says 70 greatest? 70 greats? I don't I'm not sure Look, it's on this one too. I have to look closer. That one's he signed for Garrett. 
Thank you for your service on that one for him. And then this cool one in the Super Bowl. So that is that for the two cams. Oh, I did get a fan pack. I believe it's most likely from Kim. She said if I get any mystery fan packs in the mail, probably from her. So got a couple pocket schedules from the Clearwater Threshers. And a like a decal sticker so it's got, I don't know if that shows through in the, on the sticker on the other side or maybe there's two stickers here and then a jar opener which actually can come in handy because you can always use jar openers in the house so thank you Kim for thinking of me and uh, emailing the threshers so that is everything I will hopefully be back shortly with Friday or Saturday's TTM. I guess it depends if I end up just combining it all together. So I'll be back in just a second guys. Alright, got uh, Friday's TTMs. Um, I w w walked down there and got some. Um, there was three successes in there. One that's been out for quite some time, which I'm going to show you first here. It's a card return. I've been seeing him catching up on his mail so kind of hoping that mine would come back. Mr. Bill Fahey, or Fahey, uh, former catcher for the Rangers for a long time, so of course got him for the my 78 tops. It's kind of one of my favorite sets. I'm, I'm still kind of working on it. I'm never completed or anything like that, but it's just kind of like one of those card sets that uh, I prefer to send over others, so um, so let's have to get that one back. Then got another baseball return. This one was sent out for Kim, former Astros shortstop Tommy Manzia. Signed three five by sevens. Oops, upside down there. So one or two is going to be going to Kim there. So cool return there. I remember him playing. Been about the 2010s around that time, 2010 to like 2012, I think, for him, 2013-ish. And then I got one return. Uh, this will be going to Garrett because I did write to her for him. She only signed one, but uh, I guess that's all right. Uh, Susan St. James. Here, this one, Hollywood Walk of Fame. She didn't sign that one, and there's nothing on the back. And didn't sign this one, which maybe that's not her now that I look at it, but I don't know. It's kind of an older photo. And nothing on the back. So there's no reason why. I guess maybe she's just one per. I don't know. <laughs> so that was out for a couple months too. So that was it for Friday. Um, I'll hopefully be back for you guys with some stuff for Saturday. So be right back. All right, I've got uh, Saturday's TTMs here. Just a couple hours later for me, just a flash for you here, but uh, got three in, so hopefully they're all successes here. So we'll start off with this one. Uh, I can't make out where it's coming back from. It got cut off there, but it was sent out for Garrett back in June. That's why there's a colored envelope. So let's see who we got. Oh, very cool. Looks like she she sent one back, which is perfectly fine because I've gotten her back before, right? I think. Yeah. Maybe you know I might have only sent one to be honest. Uh, Miss Reba McIntyre um, wanted to get her for him, so uh, sent to her business. She's got a I think it's a slightly new address since the one I sent to two years ago. But uh, pretty cool there. He should like that one. Trying to get him some country music returns and legendary celebrities there for him. So that's a cool one there to get for him. Reba McIntyre. Next up, San Diego, California. July 2019. 
It is Mr. Gene Leak. Uh, I kind of thought this photo was kind of cool. Um, I couldn't find any, any like cards that were closer up. I just kind of like kept it with the surrounding black border. Just thought it looked fine the way it was. Played for the Angels in 1961. Third base and outfield. And then he also signed one of the little customs. Mr. Gene Lee. Don't believe you know. And last one is coming back from Evansville, Indiana. Also sent out in July. This one looks like they wrote a little something. It's Mr. Phil Roof. I thought this was a pretty funny photo. He's uh, milking a cow. <laughs> and he's watching squirt up there in the sky. So, uh, former catcher for the Oakland Athletics. Um, wonder if maybe let's talk about the photo here. Maybe. It says, Caleb, I'm still connected with the Minnesota Twins. Twins for sure to win the World Series. May God continue to bless you, Phil Roof. Yep, and in reference to my Philippians 4.32. So I just, you know, asked him, hey, do you have any favorites to win the World Series this year? And he said, the Twins. So that's what, that's, I think he's like the first one to actually answer that question for me. And so many months of adding that in my letters. So, well, that's a pretty cool photo there. I like that one, so. Mr. Phil Roof. So that is it. Um, the Battle of the Decades contest is sign up is officially over. All the teams have been announced. So if you signed up for that already, please make sure you go check that out to see which team you're on. Um, anything henceforth, whether you're on Team 90s or Team 70s, that you get TTM, uh, players, coaches on, on cards, photos, or memorabilia specific to the era, um, will count towards the contest. And just make sure you uh, let me know. If you upload a video on it or anything like that so I don't miss anything. Or you let your team captain know. So that is everything, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed and you like this uh, TTM weekly recap. Let me know uh, any tips or any uh, other ideas for videos that you might have or to improve the channel. Uh, I don't mind hearing any um, correction or anything like that. I'm trying to do my best here and uh, make the videos even better. Um, as I go along. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you all later. Bye.